Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Summoner. Well, let's go ahead and quickly go to Magic here. And the Tears of Usaman, you get three charges out of it, so you just want to use it on all three characters. One by one in quick succession. There we go. And run like hell. Once again, it's a very high level invisibility spell. It makes you completely undetectable. Normally, you would have to be like, I think, level 50 in order to get this effect. At least, uh, that's what I've read. I don't know, I've never personally leveled that high. Go left here, by the way. Ignore that little fork there. It would take you forever to level that high, so, yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, right here, we want to go to the right. I think if you attack somebody, they will be able to detect you. So, don't do that. There's no treasures on the way up. Although, there might be something on the way down. <laughs> as strange as that sounds. Uh, yeah, make sure you get... Well, actually, there are no items to get in Wolong well right now. I was going to say the items will reset to something else, but... That doesn't matter, because you had to get all the chests. They were all quest items. We're almost at the top here. Just head up the stairs here. There aren't any more enemies now. That lone guy that was standing down below a little bit, he was the last guy. You will very likely get overwhelmed if you try to fight. Alright, here we are. Let's, uh... Well, it'll wear off eventually, anyway. Let's just head on in. Okay, we're here in the uh, caverns. And one thing to keep in mind is that the blue minotaur enemies here can drop the warrior's sabaton. One of the best boots in the game for Chikar. And we want to make sure we get one of them. We will come back here later, so you don't have to go out of your way to get it now. But I usually end up getting one. And we're locked in... Uh, Well, high camera here. So just keep an eye out for that item. It's a fairly common drop, so... I mean, I think it's a rare drop, but again, it's rare in name only. But yeah, Faith is not very good anymore. Well, it's okay for particularly Fleece. But yeah, I'll cast it and we'll see how well it does. By the way, the music here is awesome. My favorite track in the game. Yeah, it didn't even help Joseph at all. But it did help, uh, well, Fleece. So I would still use it if you're encountering enemies that are going to use magic on you. Now these uh, blue minotaurs here, they are weak to fire. So I recommend casting Meteor Storm on them. Trip and Backstab also works. But uh, dual Meteor Storm ought to do the trick. He didn't drop it there. Yeah, they're immune to ice, strong against pierce attacks, weak to fire. They have pretty low magic and physical defense, so. Ooh, it paralyzed him. Awesome. Yeah, even though they're strong against pierce, 
police's backstab will still either one-shot them or come very, very close to it. Actually, the Warrior Sabaton is a common drop from these guys. So yeah, it's pretty easy to get. But anyway, uh, there's also a Ring of Might uh, that you can get from those uh, blue minotaurs. If you get one, equip it on Rosalind. But uh, I wouldn't go out of my way for that. That's the rare drop. Rare in name only, but still. I don't think I'm going to list them in the video description, but I will uh, equip them if I get them. Apparently this place is where they used to have sacrifices for the dragon. Who's this Bayless guy? Oh, he's a slave to Azza, huh? What about Drazen? What about Azza? Huh, looks like uh, that guy's powerful. For now, let's just continue on. This area is big, and it is confusing. Oh yeah, yeah. let's uh... Almost everything here is weak to fire, so set uh, Joseph to caster AI. And if you want to use uh, Meteor Storm, you have to do that manually, but uh, Fire Arrow is really good here. Only one enemy isn't weak to fire here. I think, uh... Yeah, so this is pretty much the I think this is the only area where I use Joseph as a caster. Yeah, look how much damage they're doing to this guy. Without even really trying. Joseph should have enough MP to be fine. Or AP. Uh, the only thing that sucks is... Uh, you know, if I have to do a lot of healing... Yeah, that could be problematic. But... I should be okay. We're not making it through this whole area today. There's no way. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to this guy. No, not now. It slowed me. Go ahead and get Meteor Storm going because this guy's being uh, kind of a dick here. Get a nice regenerate going. You could empower a fleece, but nah. I'll cast Protect every now and then. Probably should have had it on for these guys. Just because there was a lot of them around this corner. Really? All those guys and we didn't get it? Huh. Weird. But yeah, I'll have to come back here for some quests. And... If I don't get the Warrior Sabaton, I will get it then. I will farm it at, the, at that point. Now we got Draz in the Tormented. So we could go to the left. Or we could go to the right. And the correct answer is... There is no correct answer. But I do want to take out this uh, Blue Minotaur first. 
Essentially, the gimmick to this dungeon is that... Depending on which way you go, you will have to face either a permanent curse dead assailment... Or a permanent... Slow status ailment. Or legs attack status ailment. It's not quite permanent, but it's near permanent. You can't use cure on it, by the way. Come on, I don't want to get too close to that thing. That's the curse uh, trap there. Come on. Can I hit him with a meteor storm? Do I have burning hands equipped? You should have that chain attack equipped here if you got it. Yes, I do. Of course, it didn't work. There we go. Alright, we'll just backstab him. No warrior Sabaton yet. But anyway, I'd rather deal with the slow status than the curse status. Taking double damage through an entire area is not my idea of fun. And I can easily, or easierly, bypass the slow status. I can deal with it easier, I guess is the right word. We got a frozen bone knight up here. He absorbs ice, he's strong against pierce, weak to fire. Has some decent physical defense on him, but it's not going to matter too much. He can drop a claymore. Or a Ring of Ice, which I think gives you plus three to ice. Nothing that I really care about. But anyway, we want to go to the right. More so because there's going to be a hidden passage on the left wall here. And I may have passed it already. No, I didn't think so. I'm just saving because I forget exactly where the... Oh, there it is. You see those bones? That's where the slow uh, trap is. There's a ton of the blue minotaur guys. I've never had a problem getting it. Oh, those are uh, ice witches. I want to cast faith. Yeah, they're annoying. They can, uh, cast Cure. I believe they can cast Vitalize. But with them around, I want to use, uh, Faith. And the only way I'm going to be able to kill an enemy I'm targeting... Oh yeah, they can paralyze you as well. I'm going to have to use, uh, Trip here. And they can cast, uh, Icicle on you. Which is not good. Uh, silencing them is a very, very good idea. In fact, police might die there. I would very much like to, uh... There we go. I barely got that off. I think I silenced one of them. Oh no, I got them both silenced. Awesome. But they're weak to uh, fire attacks as well. Yeah, they absorb ice and they're weak to fire. Nothing that I really care about their drops. I think they drop a, a glove. I think that's what the Mellifluous Might is. But I don't really care about it. And now Joseph ran up there because he's low on, uh...
AP. So the game is trying to conserve the rest of his AP. I believe the Iron Gauntlets are better than that. Yeah, yeah, they're better than that. But anyway, right here we get the Razor Short Sword. Unfortunately, I'm not going to use it. It's a one-handed sword. Uh, I think it's one-handed. Shall we find out? Yeah, it's one-handed. I'm not sure why you would use it when you would probably be using the Logaros Longsword if you were using one-handed swords, but eh, it's there. I do want to get Regenerate going. Yeah, Joseph's really low on AP. But Rosalind will almost certainly have plenty of AP. Okay. I'm going to save here because I don't want to get hit by this thing. So let's get Rosalind to Lyra this guy. Now because Rosalind's going to be at melee range, I really don't care about her being afflicted with slow. So I want her to trigger the trap, and then the other two to follow after her. Wow, that bow is terrible. <laughs> Don't trigger the trap, please. Thank you. Go ahead and get a Vitalize off. Okay, I think that's close enough. Let's do this. Alright, come on, guys. If you walk quickly enough through it... Yes. So, Rosalind is now inflicted with slow, or legs attacked. But the other two aren't, and... Yeah, you see how Rosalind is uh, running there? For some weird reason, it doesn't affect any characters that are under AI control. I don't know why that is, but yeah, I'm sure it's a bug, but I don't care. I don't want to be walking around everywhere I go, and I certainly don't want to take double damage the entire dungeon. This area is hard enough. Yeah, this is one of the harder areas in the game. Now, we do have a regular Bone Knight there. We fought this guy before, I believe. He's also weak to fire. Yeah, he's strong against energy attacks, vulnerable to slash, weak to blunt, fire and ice. Because he's weak to blunt, I'm going to have Joseph just run up. Save some AP. I figure that's pretty good. Uh oh. Oh, the bow must be hitting him. I hate it when they dodge my, uh... Trip attack there. And sometimes it just doesn't work. Yeah, Joseph's gonna run in until he has enough AP to use Fire Arrow, and then he'll back off and... Use Fire Arrow again.
but he'll be fine. I'll just use Rosalind as my main healer for this era, uh, area. I suppose I should edit out these battles that are taking a while, but I don't really feel like it. <laughs> Probably end the episode soon. Then we got a claymore. Maybe we can sell that. Now, if you took the other path. Which I think is a little shorter. Yeah, this is where it comes out. And if you go any further, you'd run into the... Curse Trap. It's not that one. It's that first one up there. Don't touch that. <laughs> That's the last thing we need. We want to go to this bridge here. I'll pick up a couple more chests, and that'll be it. We want to head up to the northeast. Should be a couple of items. No? Oh, right, I went northwest. Whoops. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies around here. Let's see if we can uh, be smart about this. Well, for one, let's get protect. Did I get faith on? I don't even remember. No, I didn't. All right, faith. I guess you can regenerate Joseph. I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to regenerate Fleece, but okay. Alright, let's head on in. Fortunately, the enemies are fairly spread out in the uh, caverns. So you can usually take them on a few at a time here. Or a couple at a time. If I get towards the end of the dungeon, I might decide to farm a warrior Sabaton. Yeah, they're not dropping anything for me. But, you don't have to. You can just get it when you come back later. Is that an ice witch? Oh yeah, it is. I'm probably going to silence those two. No silence there. Come on. There we go. There's the trip. And finish him off with a backstab. Now maybe we can avoid fighting the rest of these guys for now. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Try and silence the witch. There we go. Maybe a good meteor storm is in order? Meteor storm is really good here. Oh good, it hit the bone knight. That's what I wanted it to do.
go ahead and cast heal on Fleece, because she's kind of getting beat up here. There we go. Get a warding necklace that I'll never use. I don't even know what it does. I don't remember. I know it's not very useful. I think it gives you some more resistance. You know, let's check it out. Yeah, it gives you some magic resistance. Which actually could be pretty useful. But anyway, we get the red dragon scale. Ups fire skill by two, but I don't care about that. We need it for the quest. Continue along here. I think there's a blue minotaur up here. I forget. No, just more of these idiots. Uh-oh. That is kind of one of the issues with caster. You end up sometimes locked in an animation that you don't want to be locked in. I was trying to cast heal with uh, Rosalind as well. Yeah, we really got to thin these guys out. See if we can hit him with a quick backstab. I'll probably start editing out battles after this episode again. Yeah, sometimes that happens where uh, police just doesn't listen to you. I told her to do backstab, but she was targeting the other enemy for some reason. Kind of annoying. But it is what it is. Yeah, I guess I'll take these guys out off screen. They're being annoying. Okay, got them. One gold. Thanks, game. We get a Bogo Doe here, or Bogu Doe. It's full body armor. It does give you resist piercing. It's pretty light. But it's weaker than what I have right now, defensive-wise. Because again, chainmail armor and chainmail leggings, or chainmail tunic and chainmail leggings is just better. Back at the shrine here. I didn't think there were any more enemies around, but I guess there were. I need to cast a heal spell. Let's see if I can get that warrior Sabaton. Come on, game. Give it to me. Nope. But we have a secret switch here, or a switch here that opens up a secret passage. Uh oh. Probably silence these guys and take them out. Uh, one of them dropped a health tonic, by the way. I just picked it up off screen. If you're going to silence them, you do need to be quick about it, just so you know, because they will try to remove that with cure. But anyway, we got a few items in here. Uh, six items there should be. So yeah, we get a health tonic. Kind of irritating to find everything around here. Man, I wish you could go into a low camera angle. But unfortunately, you just can't. Not much you can really do about it. Now we do get an impaler there. That is a better one-handed blunt weapon. It also randomly casts the Power Leech spell, which is basically the Osmo spell. 
It uh, has a chance of draining some AP from the enemy. It costs 20 AP though, so to cast it normally, it's not very good. But it's free when uh, the Impaler casts it. It's just bled out better, so let's give that to Joseph. Get 500 gold. Yeah, the healing draught's hidden here. I have trouble finding for whatever reason. We get a Kasani sword. This will probably be the Shadow Medallion, right? Yeah, that ups your sneak and hide skill by three, which isn't too useful. Now there's three healing droughts around here, and I always have trouble finding them for some bizarre reason. Oh, there they are. Healing drought times three. Okay. I'm not going to use that Shadow Medallion. I do, however, want to cast Regenerate on Fleece there. Let's go ahead and top off here. Did that actually top you off? No. But she's got Regenerate going. Okay, so I think I'm going to end it here. And, uh... Next time we'll go through more of this area. I don't think we'll finish it on the next episode either. This area is long. So yeah, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.